back with another video showing y'all my home setup and then my church setup tomorrow but today church, home setup um so first keyboards all right so we got the nord electro 6d 61 semi-weighted waterfall keyboard all right i got this in 2021 right um and i've had it ever since sometimes i bring it to church sometimes i'll, I'll keep it home but i'm thinking i'm gonna keep it home from now on this is this is my baby uh it is loaded with a whole bunch of stuff it is loaded got the mk88 piano one mk mk20 piano one and then got the ep ep2 sorry and then over here we got a whole bunch of stuff after 1984, Afterlife, all of this stuff. Analog, background strings, Hugo Bass, all of that stuff, J-pop, all of that, all of that. So this is loaded. So this is my first keyboard. Well, this is be, or the first one I'm showing. The second one I'm showing you is my Moldy X8. This is my main board, it's weighted. Well, it's not fully weighted. Some people don't like the key bed. I don't think it's that bad. People be over exaggerating. I think it's cool once you get used to it, but yes, this is it. This is also loaded. I'll show y'all. Where is it? Where is it? It has some Nord pianos. Got Bright Grand, Imperial, Royal Grand. And then I have a full folder of um, Motif stuff, uh, Roland stuff. Got some MKS in there. A whole bunch of stuff Oops, I can't see. I got some good stuff. It's a full folder, a whole bunch of stuff. See, that thing is all the way over there. So it's fully loaded. Got power grand. But yeah, this is my main keyboard where I mostly track out everything else except piano. I use the Nord for the piano. Next, I don't really use this anymore. I like I power when I how much I used to, the MPC 1000. This is very, very old. I wanna say I got this in 2020. I got this before the Nord. So the Nord I got in 2021, this got, got this in 2020. I wanna say I got this in 2022, or the very end of 2021. But back to this, I don't use this that much. I have it, you know, just in case, there's some sounds in here. I don't have a plug that though, but this I used to use this a lot I used to make my loops on here I used to transfer loops to my laptop but now I use my laptop mainly for loops I'll show y'all the Ableton session for that but yes now this is my monitor don't mind my phone this is my monitor this is an LG something I don't know if y'all can see it this is an LG something it's a little bright this is an LG something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but this is just the monitor. And then I have a Mac Mini over here. Um, I believe this is one of the first ones that was made. I got this in 2020 as well. M1 chip. Um, memory eight gigabytes. The storage I want to say is 500 gigabytes. Almost yes, 500. I only have like 120 gigabytes left, but yes. That's the computer I use at home. I have a Lacey hard drive. This is two gigabytes. Um, no, two terabytes, sorry. Two terabytes, Lacey hard drive, external hard drive. Um, I keep everything music in there. I got my loops, sounds for my my, my uh, Modi X or montage at my church. All the pr producing stuff and then my YouTube stuff. Um, now onto my speakers. This is a JBL something something. I'm not good with names at all, but it's JBL. This is like the standard. This I think it's like 3.5. No, the bigger one is like 5.5 or something like that. But yes, this is the 3.5 uh, studio speaker. I have black. 
and white. I wanted to be different, have one color and the other. Um, interface. This changed a lot. So I recently got this, like I want to say like a month or two ago. This is the Sterling, uh, the Sterling H224. All right, um, I use this at home. It has two inputs, or it has four inputs, two for like a mic and regular instrument, and then this is for like instrument, but you can't use both at the same time. So if you plug this in here, this is not gonna work. If you plug this plug into here, the back ones are not gonna work. Um, they have four outputs, but for some reason, I don't know how to work the three and four outputs, so I only use the one and two outputs. Use the headphone to plug into my um, headphone extension, or headphone amplifier by Sterling as well. I know it's pretty dark. This is the headphone amplifier I use, it's Sterling Audio. So this is Sterling Audio and this is also Sterling Audio. Um, I don't know exactly which model this is either, but it has four headphone outputs. And, uh, yeah, that's what I use um, for my iRig as well. I go from the headphone amplifier into the iRig, but I go from the main outputs on my interface into my monitors, and then I use the headphone output to go into my headphone amplifier. Um, what else? Standard keyboard, Apple keyboard, Apple mouse. Um, and I wanna say that's really it. This is what I also used to use at home. This is a Focusrite Scarlet 18i20. Um, I got this, I wanna say 2021. I used to keep this at home and use it from home. Cause I also, I also used to have two racks, the uh, classic motif rack and then a JV1080, but I sold those. But got this, and then I got this like a couple months after. This is a Behringer Ultra Green Digital um, Audio Interface, but it's ADAT. So it's not your regular interface. So it only comes, uh, you can only get the sound out through ADAT and put in output. So I have this as my main six or eight channel interface going from this into this, which makes it 16. And this is another Sterling headphone amplifier. This is eight channels now. Um, this is kind of like a recording rig or like a traveling recording rig. I need to take this to the church to use or if I have a gig that needs, um, I need to bring sound or keyboard. This is what I use. And then I have the Furman um, conditioner or outlet conditioner where it has multiple outlets on the back of it. This. I don't use that much now, but I'm probably, I'm definitely gonna use it more this summer, probably towards the end of the summer. There'll be videos on that as well. You know, David recording his music. But yes, there's this, and I, I think that's really it for my own setup. But yeah, this is the full view of the setup. MPC, Nord, Modi X, speakers, monitors, Interface, Mac Mini, external hard drive, iRig, one second. iRig and headphone amplifier, keyboard and mouse. But yeah, just the whole setup, just the pan through. So what I use to make music at home, practice at home. Yeah. Yeah, full. I almost forgot the dolls I will use. So I mainly use Logic. I have Ableton here. I don't really use it at home. I use it on my laptop. I also have Keyscape. Um, let's focus right control. I have MK Sensation Extreme. I don't really use it like that because it doesn't sound that well to me. 
could sound good for somebody else, but it doesn't sound that well to me. Um, I have the Moises app. Everybody should know what that is. That's, this is Superior Drummer. Um, this is like MIDI drums or like, I would plug my, either my Modi X or my Nord into my computer and record like, I guess, reference drums. But yeah, it's my setup at home. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the church and show y'all the setup at the church. It's a lot. And so there's a sanctuary, there's a setup in the sanctuary and then it's a setup in the choir room. It's basically a full band in both areas. So it's like drums, keys, bass, organ upstairs in the sanctuary, and then drums, keys, bass, organ downstairs in the choir, and like the rehearsal room. But I'll show y'all that tomorrow. Well, y'all see that next, soon, right now. All right, so I'm on the way to the church to show y'all my setup. But I gotta stop at Chick-fil-A first because I haven't had Chick-fil-A breakfast in a minute. And I need, need, need those chicken minis, those chicken biscuit minis and that scramble bowl. That joint, is, that joint has the oil, but uh, yeah. All right, we're at my church now. Um, I didn't get a food. I didn't get food yet. We're gonna get food, but uh, somebody's here. Oh, you can't zoom in on the front one. All right, whatever. But uh, let's let's get into this setup. All right, this is this is our this is the drum set in the sanctuary. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, I can only zoom out that much. All right, whatever. Um, let me give them a full. Can you? Have some decorum. This is what it is from the back. Let me show y'all. From... You're an idiot. We got the white sparkly drum set. Where you going? Come and explain the drum set, all right? Oh, with the snare. All right, it's, it's a DW. Collector series. It's a collector series. Serial number six seven five five six seven. Now we get robbed. Wait, why would we get robbed? Oh, you're an idiot. So go ahead, explain the set. I'm explaining the collector series DW. Um, custom made at that. Um, mm -hmm. Eight, ten, twelve, sixteen toms. Um, also a collector series snare. That's that didn't come now. Not snare. That didn't come with the set. Um, Get into this. A 20, that's a 20 custom, a 19, a custom, a sweet ride, 23. Yes. A sweet ride, 20. Yes. 20, uh-huh. Is that, what type of hand? 14, 15? It's a 16, Doc. Yo, man, what size is the bass drum or the kick? 23, shoo! This is a session set, this is a tour set. Oh man, oh, let's get into this. Uh... Well, I'll read it because I'm a drummer too. I started out, I started out on drums. This is a uh, eight inch splash, Zildjian, I like, yeah. But this is the drums, full setup back here. All right, all right, all right. Next, we got the percussion session. Section, excuse me. The beginning of it. We got the beginning of it, all right? We just started it out. We got it, what, last month or two months ago? We got some, what is this? LP performance series. We got some, some, whatever that is. What is it? Bro, what is it? Blocks. Blocks. And you got the cowbell. All right. Oh. Before we move any further, what sticks do you use? Um. Personally, I like the Freestyle 5B Dick Burst. All right. Brand Question. If you were ever to get endorsed by a stick company, what stick company would it be? Uh, of course, Big Burst is my favorite stick. 
now. Yeah, I'll say right now. All right. What about symbol? Symbol, saving. Saving, all right. Mind you, we're playing all Zildjian's, but uh, and what about set? The man's beat. Yamaha, all right, all right. All right, let's get into the organ. So, I'm not the best with organs. I don't know if this is a B3, A100, or a C, whatever. I just know what gives church, all right? It's an organ. Y'all probably can tell by this. I'm, I, I know this tells us, this lets you know the um, type. Also down here, the back being out. Um, this Leslie came with it. We got this at the beginning of the year. No. We got this last year, right? Did we have it for the Christmas season? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. So we got this last year, like towards the end of the year. In November, December. Yep. Nice. And it's been a blessing ever since. Although I had to put this on the seat because the seat is chipping and you know, it would stick you, get on your clothes. So I had to cover the seat with this, but um, this organ is pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, the Leslie is not mic'd though. Let me show y'all. The Leslie is not mic This is just for the house. We're going stereo output into a DI box. So it's in here, comes out of there, going to there. So we're getting direct sound from the organ left and right. Um, yeah, let's go to the keyboard. So we have the Montage 8. We got, I don't even know when we got this. I don't think I was playing here yet when we got this. Yeah, I, I came later than this, so I don't know when this came, or I started playing here. I grew up here, but I officially started playing here after we got this. But this is the Montage 8. Let me cut it on for y'all. I used to have, or I, like I said at home, I would bring my Nord to church, but I, I'm gonna keep it home. I'm gonna officially keep it home. I'm not gonna bring it to church or bring it to this church anymore. Um, no shade, just, you know, have a montage. And it is loaded, so just like how my Modi X8 at home is loaded, this is also loaded. Where is it? So you got, you got Motis. Oh, this one has the Moti XF stuff. And it also has Royal Grand, Bright Grand, Imperial Grand, um, Power Grand. And the, the same folder my Modi X has where it has all the motif stuff, the rolling stuff. Whole bunch of goodness, whole bunch of goodness. But uh, yeah, this is the board we use. Now, this is the base rig. I don't know. This is an A Galar Tone, what is it? Well, if it's trying to say like something like guitar, it would be like good. I don't know. Aguilar, Aguilar. I don't know. Tone Hammer 500. This is our bass player's rig. This is his, and this is also his. He also has an Aguilar uh, um, speaker. And uh, yeah, it's real cozy over here. Um, he's not here right now. As you can see, it's only me and him. Um, to really fully explain his setup. Maybe I'll get him to do it this Sunday, but maybe I might do that. Yeah, after church. But uh, yeah, let's get into the in-air monitor system. So we have the Allen & Heath ME1. We had these for a well, Again, they got a whole bunch of this stuff before I got here. They they had they got this organ after way after I got here, but this been here this was here before me, these were here before me, the drum set was here before me or this set? You this set? No. I came first and then the drum set, so yeah, and that's really it. Emmy Audio One, everybody has on bass, organ, drums, even percussion. This is supposed to be for guitar, but the book. Or whoever plays percussion uses it. 
We also have guitar rigs or amps, but we don't have a guitar player. We don't really need a guitar player right now, but uh, yeah. This is the setup at my church, or in the sanctuary at least. We'll take you downstairs and show you how to set up downstairs. So this is the setup downstairs. We sort of kind of have like two setups down here. I'm gonna turn on the light though. So I kind of have two setups down here, but the one in the social hall, well, one in the social hall, one in the choir room where we rehearse, one in the social hall is kind of not as full as the one in the sanctuary and the one in the choir room because we moved the stuff from the social hall to the choir room because we had to have rehearsal in there on Sunday mornings to start out here because they wanted to bring back Sunday school. But this is, I'll show y'all what's left of our hair in the social hall. So this is basically what's left, literally just organ. And like a bass amp, but it used to be organ keys, bass amp, drums, and low key guitar amp somewhere. But this is the organ. Again, I don't know what type of organ this is. This is probably one of the first organs we had to this church and it's still kicking. It's low key, still works, low key killing. Better than, this is better than the one we have in the choir room. I'll show y'all that and y'all see that one. He's practicing, but better. This is way better than the one in the choir room. So the one upstairs in the sanctuary is the, first, is the best one. The second best one in the choir room is the third best. But um, yeah, this is it. This is the Leslie, as y'all can see, it's old and rugged. And we low key have a sound system down here. So it was a good try. Um, we low key have a sound system down here show y'all so this is a part of it and I show y'all the room that ain't even gonna work nope. please it's a double mirror or two-way mirror but yeah this is this is all right got monitors subs but on to the choir room please come on wait Oh man, he got on light up sketches. Oh, oh man. All right, this is the choir room where we rehearse Sunday mornings. Um, like I said, full setup down here. Well, I'll open this organ. Let's start with the organ. This organ is garbage. This is an electric organ. It's, I think it's like Japanese or something like that. This joint is booty cheeks. Booty cheeks, man. We had this upstairs and it was so bad, bro. This is not the Leslie to it, but I don't know where the Leslie is, but this joint is Basuda, all right? And we got the classic Motif 8, all right? It's low key still in okay condition. You can use it, missing a button. This A, it gets stuck, but Everything else seems to work pretty fine. Use it just for practicing. And then we down here, we have a Yamaha set. Brother man, why don't you take us into the Yamaha set? Same thing upstairs. Um, eight, 10, 12, 14. Um, I don't know what type of size I can give it. That's what we don't. I just bought our other collective series. I don't know what we had. Apex, MPX on there. Um, we also, we used to have Pisces upstairs. They are old and educated. Cracked, so we just use them here. We have more Pisces than our cracks than our... Repertoire? Yeah. Please, that's not the word. <laughs> we have DW5000. Oh, upstairs we have a single chain. DW5000. Down here we have a... Uh, double chain, and we also have a double chain nine thousand. Just saying. All right, this is the drum set, and then you got the bass rig over there, and then you got some speakers or some monitors I set up, and then we low key have another drum set that's not 
Yamaha is not fully put together. We gotta put it together because it's low-key still to be used. And then we have, what is this, a PDP? Sure. You like the PDP over the yam? I like the kick. I don't like smoking. Please, for this, oh, let me turn on the light. This is the drum set we used to have when we had that organ in the social hall upstairs. This is super, super old, but can kind of low-key still be used. And then we got a whole bunch of stuff in here, but we're not gonna take you on to that. But uh, yeah, this is very storefront down here. Very storefront. Like I said, this organ is trash. I wanna move the one in the social hall in here and put this out here or throw this in the trash. But yeah, this is this is the full setup of my church. Upstairs, downstairs. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything that y'all seen. Um, I'm not gonna put links to my church setup. I'm definitely gonna put links to my home setup. Um, but if you have any questions about the home setup, setup of my church, downstairs, upstairs, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe. If there's any questions you wanna ask him, like where he got his glasses from or which corner store he got his glasses from, you can let him know. But uh, we're gonna go get some Chick-fil-A. I was gonna show you on the video, but I don't think I am. But uh, thanks for watching. All right, so I lied. I will show you my food. This is the chicken, chicken bowl. It has chicken, eggs, and shredded cheese. It's mad good. You know, you got the hash browns with it. And then, wait, they gave me the wrong, it just gives you straight Oh, directives. yes, bro. <laughs> directives? Yes. Direction. But you can also save directives. Um, bro. They gave me just regular chicken, bro. Wow. At least I got my chicken bowl. That's all that matters. He wanted to be my son, of course, and got a chicken bowl of, you know. He always, wait. That's a bacon egg and cheese on a biscuit. So they gave you your second breakfast item, but they didn't give me mine. Think they did. Huh? Well, my first, I they ordered. The wrong one, no? I ordered the chicken minis. minis, the sandwiches. I mean, they gave you the, the nuggets. That's not the same, bro. It's all right. The lady was very nice, so they get a pass. But Chick-fil-A, this can't happen again. Y'all supposed to be the best.